Hey gang, welcome to this episode of Brood. My name's Dave, and they let me drink craft beer on television. We've taken you on the show to some amazing breweries, of course, where the delicious craft beer is produced, and some of the great tap rooms that are adjacent to those breweries. And beer is, they say, always best at a brewery. But it ain't too bad at some of these places you're gonna be going to on this show with us. Yes, this episode of Brood will highlight some of the coolest craft beer bars we've ever been to. It's gonna be a feast for your eyes and a treat for my mouth. That's on this episode of Brood. We're in downtown Burlington, Iowa, here in, in southeast Iowa at the coolest museum I think I've ever been to. This is the Valley Monster Pub, and it is a sight for the eyes. I don't think, I mean, it's almost like a, a national park. You can't really take it all in in one day. <laughs> we hear that. Right? Yep. And the national park is kind of the theme here. There, there's a lot going on here, Brandon, in terms of what you're trying to do visually as well as what you're trying to do with all the great craft beer that you have. Uh, let's, let's talk about the beginnings of this place because this building has a, a, a rich heritage, right? I mean, this is, this is not new construction that we're sitting in. Sure. This is a lived-in space. Right. What was this before it was the Valley Monster Pub? Um, it was kind of an old dive bar, uh, kind of ran itself down and somebody took the project on and, and uh, started to re revamp it and stopped it in, in the process and then left us a blank canvas to kind of pick up and do what we did. So This place has been open about two years, but when you walk in the place, it feels like it's been around forever. Yeah. Like this, this, this place has the, the sense of history when you walk in. That's quite on purpose. Sure, yeah. I kind of wanted it to feel like a deeply rooted bar, you know, like it's been in Burlington, downtown Burlington for so long. So give it the historical feel that matched the historical building. So Now, one of the things that you guys <clears throat> are really keen on here is not only having a great selection of craft beers that uh, there's quite a few handles there that I haven't seen anywhere else. Sure. Uh, but part of the whole vibe here is it's, it's obviously a craft beer place, but art also very a uh, big part of what you're trying to get done here. We, we talk a lot on the show about how beer is the intersection of science and art, and, and man, uh, as far as the art goes, I mean, this is, this is like the Guggenheim, <laughs> but with, but with kick-ass beer. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, one big art project, that's what this was, and we, uh, we also kind of, on the walls here, we've got local artists have art pieces hanging as well, and yeah, we kind of support local artists and, and uh, the open mind. I think one of the reasons this place looks like it's been here forever is you have repurposed a ton of older things. Yeah. I mean, to the point where you've been given awards for your, your repurposing of yep. materials. Yep. Can, I, can I ask you, I mean, like, this bar is gorgeous. I mean, I, I, this, is a, this is a, it's an emotional experience uh, looking at this bar. You were telling me that this is kind of, a bunch of different things going on here with just, just the bar that you have here, right? Right, yeah. Yeah, it was uh, created, there's about nine different pieces in it, so it's a, it's a hodgepodge. So that's like, I mean, can, can you kind of give us a secret here for, for if we wanted to have something like that in our basement bar? I mean, that's, <laughs> that's gorgeous. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so we, I, I went next door to the preservation station, found some old apothecary cabinets, Brought them in, pieced together a hutch, uh, uh, the backsplash, the stained glass. So it's glass. an old hutch that you drilled lines into, right? I mean, yes, yep. Like that would have been in someone's house a uh, hundred plus years ago, right? Absolutely, yeah. Wow. Yeah, we just, and, and uh, the cooler's directly below it, so we just ran the line straight up, and uh, yeah, we pieced it together, and it's, it's, you know, tried to make it look like it's, uh, it's an old antique back bar, which it is. It is, well, but it is now. <laughs> it is now, yeah. The beers that you select, can you kind of walk me through that? Because that's quite a, how many different lines do you have here? How many, how many 20, handles? 20 different lines, yeah. Okay, so can you kind of walk me through what's available like right now? What, what you, you, it, it looks varied. It looks like you are, you have different, you know, a bunch of different styles, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, right now we've, we're kind of doing uh, the cold days of haze. Okay. We have eight different IPAs. Okay. So we're kind of... That sounds like, so 20, 20 <laughs> handles, eight of them are, are hazy IPAs. Right now, yeah, a mixture right. of IPAs. Um, we but, keep, that's, but that's what people want. 
What's yeah. the house logger? The house logger is just, uh, it's, it's your basic grain belt. Um, we, we push, you know, independent brewery still. So okay. it's still a family owned brewery and, and uh, it drinks like a domestic. So it stays on all the time. So that's the beer for people that come here that aren't yeah. necessarily hop heads. In sure, yeah, the, the, the guy that wants the uh, bush light or, or bud light, yeah, sure. that's, that's what we have to offer. So it goes over pretty well. I gotta ask you about the name of the place, mm -hmm. the Valley Monster Pub. Yeah. Is there, a, is there something we should be afraid of here? Or no, absolutely not. Uh, I, the, the, the street name's the Valley Street, so okay. we, I, I wanted to tie in um, something creative to, to the name of Valley. And what's what's in a valley? I, I don't know. I kicked it around for a while. And <laughs> well, there is not a valley monster. <laughs> there's, there's not, you invented <laughs> the, the valley monster and then named the bar after yeah, yeah. him or her. Is it a him or a her? Uh, or is that any of my business? I'm not sure. Yeah. I guess the valley monster is whatever you want or need it to be. That's right. Okay. There's, there's a lot going on. There's not, as it turns out, an actual monster. Although maybe there is. Like, like you said, it's all about having an open mind. Uh, incredible beer available. Can we talk about, there's, there's this space here, there's a backspace that is, you're calling it the lounge? Yeah, it's kind of lounge, it's, yeah. It's like the coolest man cave, woman cave, whatever I've ever seen. That's a completely different experience back there. Yeah. Is that open to the public or is that it for is. private parties or? Uh, no, it's just, it's just open to the public. Like if you want to drink a craft beer on a couch, that your grandparents probably fooled around <laughs> on. They've got it here. That's right. Uh, Brandon, thanks so much for your time. Absolutely, thanks, Valley Dave. Monster Pub, Burlington, it's fantastic. It's like you're walking into, I, I, I'm shocked Elliot Ness isn't over there having a beer, you know what I mean? <laughs> right.